Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about supercharging your draw shot. I did a video, I got over a million hits on it. It's called How to Shoot a Powerful Draw Shot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go beyond that. The good news is, you're not gonna need this shot very often, but there are other shots that you can't pull off unless you have this shot. So that's the bad news. The other bad news is, as a prerequisite to being able to pull off this shot, you're going to have to be able to do other things. Let's cut to the chase, as they say, and look at what the supercharged, extra long, super long length of the table draw shot looks like. So we're playing eight ball, and we are, this is a nine foot table, so we're about seven, seven and a half feet apart here, and let's say we need to get on the eight ball here. This is the shot we're talking about. Bringing that ball over the length of the table after shooting it seven feet down table. You can shoot these same shots on bar tables and you know what? The bar tables that most of you are playing on these days make this a lot easier. You're on some really nice diamond tables with some really nice cloth in a lot of places. But even when you have bad tables and bad cloth, you can still draw a cue ball the length of the table. Trust me, I do it all the time. How do you develop that shot? If you've seen any of my videos on draw shots, you know the drill. You've got to have a good bridge. You have, and I prefer a closed bridge. If you guys wanna shoot this with an open bridge, congratulations, I would never do it. The second thing, have a loose grip on the cue back here. The third thing, a nice level cue. All of these things I'm telling you, and if you're not doing these things, you don't have a mid-range draw shot. You don't have a short draw shot. You don't have a lot of draw shots and you need to get those things in the bag before you're worried about this. So the number one thing is have a mid-range draw shot. So this is how we're gonna test where you are right now. Before you're allowed to take this class, put the cue ball behind the head string, put the object ball halfway down the table and draw the cue ball off of this rail and bounce it out at least another diamond. So that shot looks like this. If you can't do that shot, don't try to do the other shots that you're gonna see in this video. Until you can do that and do it consistently, this long, extra long draw shot is gonna to lead to a couple bad things. One, you're scooping the ball off the table because you're trying too hard with a bad stroke. And two, you're shooting a bunch of stop shots at six, seven feet away. <laughs> So you've got to have those down as a prerequisite. And now let's look at the things that are going to allow you to shoot these extra long draw shots. So at the beginning, as always, I talked about reps. How do you get in reps? When you can shoot what we call the acid test, which means putting four or five balls, usually five or six, on a nine foot table, you can actually get nine across here. Um, shooting the acid test drill, which is putting those balls across at the pocket and drawing the cue ball back to the rail. This is your first drill that you wanna do in order to develop this shot. Now, this is given the assumption that you've got a decent draw shot. Let's look at the things that could be happening and what is going wrong. If you were scooping the ball, you're thinking too much about energy and what you're doing to that ball, and you are flinching. Guys don't realize how much you flinch. You flinch, you, you're trying so hard to hit this ball harder because you think that's the key. It, it, it's, that's what we do as Americans. If something doesn't work, we hit it harder, right? So, so that's not the key. It is finesse, it is shooting a nice smooth stroke, consistent speed through that stroke, shooting through the cue ball and following through. Light grip on the cue, good tight bridge preferably. The next thing I would recommend is keep score. If you're doing the acid test or the acid test plus where you're, you're putting the balls um, one diamond past the side pocket, if you're putting them two diamonds past the side pocket, you're gonna be shooting a lot of these, okay? Steph Curry shoots 3,000 three-pointers in practice, all right? You wanna know how he's the best shooter ever to walk the planet? Shoot 3,000 made three-pointers during practice and you probably get close. 
when you're putting in your reps, at least keep score because you want to know if you're getting better. So you've got your balls lined up. You, you got maybe five across. I usually recommend you put as many across as you can get while you're shooting those. And I keep score of them. If you ever saw me reach up here in the videos, this is my, my scoring system. If you're going to shoot 25 in this set, count how many you shoot, count how many you made out of that. If you want to make 25 before you go on, which is a good idea, count how many shots you had to take before you got to 25. Don't shoot 10 of these and call it a day. It is crazy boring shooting these. I shoot 50 a day. It is crazy boring. I hate doing it. Frankly, I really hate doing it, but it's the way you get better. Don't shoot 10 and then say, okay, I got in my draw shot practice. If you want to be able to draw the length of the table, Steph Curry style is where you need to go. You need to shoot hundreds, if not thousands of these. All right, you do not have a magic pill that is gonna take you from here, drawing that ball all the way back down the table uh, because you shot 10 per day. You have to put in your time, you have to put in your misses. If you are missing, if you can't get it back here, if you're putting the balls halfway or one diamond pass and you can't get it back to the rail and you're 0 for whatever, you need to move the balls closer. You don't have this shot yet. You don't have the mid-range draw shot yet. You need to be true to yourself. Go back to videos and see the mid-range draw shot. Make sure you have that down. watching give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel ah, guess what your competition has subscribed so you should really do us a favor hit that subscribe button it costs you nothing and i guarantee freaking to you it is going to improve your pool game regardless of your level so have a great day talk to you soon